you, hasn't he protected you? Hallelujah. How he's brought you out of ways that you couldn't see yourself getting out of. That's the kind of God we serve, and we give him praise for 25 lovely years of ministry. Amen. And thank you all again for coming and celebrating with us. We thank you, Father God, that we can approach you this evening because we have right standing with you. And God, there is nothing that can hinder us from entering into your presence this evening. Psalms 150 says that everything that has bread, praise the Lord, amen. And so tonight I want you to stand up to your feet. I want you to stand up to your feet, amen. This is a day of celebration, amen. about my man of God. And the one thing that just came to mind is, some of y'all may know, we used to have a wonderful girls and boys basketball team, amen? Yeah. The girls never won, but we were wonderful, amen? And when I think about it, I just remember, and I can recall and reflect, my father made sure all the girls had transportation, uniforms, made sure they had food, made sure um, he contacted their parents to, you know, let them know what time practices were and what time the games were. Amen. And if they didn't have a ride, Pastor Witcher had that New Life Christian Fellowship at the time of the New Jerusalem Worship Center band. Ping, ping, and he was making sure he was out there. You have such a great heart for others around you. And God's going to bless you for all the games and all the practices and all the time you went to H-E-B, make sure we had Gatorade and make sure we had towels and shoes and uniforms. Even though we never won, you didn't stop loving us. You didn't stop caring for us. And he wasn't, let me tell you, he wasn't the type of coach that would fuss at you. He loved us after every game. You know, I know y'all 
we got next game, and next game came around, okay? We got next game, and that game came around. He just started saying, all right, we're going to do better. <laughs> Amen. But I just wrote to say, I love you, Dad. Thank you so much for all that you do. Your labor of love won't go in vain. And this is only the beginning of great things that God has in store for you. So the best is yet to come, and I love you dearly. memory some you just can't erase out of your mind i remember like never before like it was yesterday the church thought he was playing until he hit that high note <laughs> amen <laughs> it, a young man was up here singing i won't complain but you know what dad as i was thinking about that moment i started reflecting on how that relationship excuse me how that song you built a relationship with it and it meant something to you and that's what worship is all about and being in ministry for 25 years seeing you guys worship not just in song, but also in your lifestyle. I knew that in that moment when you were singing, I won't complain. If the body of Christ remember that Sunday, the Holy Spirit took over, we thought he was playing until he said, oh, I won't complain. <laughs> and we, I thought he was going to hit a Jennifer Hudson and start saying, and you and you going to love me, but it's cut off real fast. <laughs> things that y'all have been through behind scenes you really took that moment you said I won't complain there's many things I can be up here fussing complaining but what does the Bible says what does my moaning and complaining do amen? amen so I truly believe in that moment that the Holy Spirit I'm praying for that moment to come back again hopefully they come back today amen if all of us have faith touch and agree that that moment's gonna come again amen <laughs> amen the women of New Life Christian Fellowship give it up for Sister Wisher amen <laughs> always thinking about us, planning trips. We don't have to worry about the fair. We don't have to worry about where we're going to eat. Amen. She knows how to put it together, and I thank God for that and all the things that she's done, all the things that she continues to do for New Life Christian Fellowship, and as Jocelyn said, the labor of love is not in vain. The best is already here. Amen. Mother, she's so creative in, you know, how she, how God uses her speaking in parables and how God gives her illustrations of the manifestations of people's lives. And I remember it was a beautiful day, August the 17th, 2014, and we were sitting in the living room and my, my mother said, let's pray. I need y'all, <laughs> this is funny, go put on your wedding dresses, because I had had my wedding dress at the time. Go put on your wedding dresses and come in the living room and allow your father to anoint you for marriage. Granted, this was a year before I got married, amen. And so Pastor Witcher, um, that he, he sat down, it was so beautiful and it was just so still and it was so much peace in that room. And he went and he anointed, I believe it was me and Jasmine, he anointed us for marriage. And I would never, ever forget that moment, Dad. It just, it was dear to my heart. And I, I do even remember walking down the aisles with you on my wedding day and remembering that, remembering that moment uh, when you anointed us for marriage. And he's anointed so many others. He's blessed so many others. Look at these beautiful plaques on the wall. Amen. Amen. These are lives that he's touched and lives that he continues to touch through his ministry, through his love and his labor. I, I do remember him, us being younger, and we didn't have brothers, but we had brothers in Christ. And he didn't miss a game, not a football game. He's still going to people's football games, amen? And I thank God for that, that, you know, God even allow us to share you with other members and how you touch the lives of so many people. I just thank God for these 25 years in ministry, what God has done and what he is yet to do, amen? It's going to be good. I told y'all this morning, 2019 is going to be lit. Praise the Lord. Amen. It's going to be a light of God's favor upon you. Hallelujah. And I bless the Lord for that. I thank God for you. Happy anniversary. Amen. Look at your neighbor and tell them if you want it.
I'm just thankful to be here at this party. Yeah. Amen. Of 25 years. Yeah. Yeah. Dr. Witcher, amen, and Sister Darlene Witcher. 25 years of labor, long suffering, loving people that sometimes are unlovable. But he loves us anyway. So today, let's share him with an excited, motivated, hilarious love, cheerful giving to let him know that we appreciate all the time that he's rendered unto us. Amen? Amen. Day, amen. That we, we we talked about the birth, amen, of your ministry and how God had called and placed on your heart to begin this ministry. And I remember standing in the in the foyer of my home and we touched and agreed and we began to call and invoke the Spirit. Then said, "Yes, Lord, and it is well. It is done. Thank you for anointing my brother. Thank you for anointing my sister. What he said he would do, he'll do it." Yeah. He made some promises to them. Hallelujah. Come on, look at somebody. And praise God, amen. And praise God. And tell them, now that's what we're supposed to be pointing our finger at. <laughs> and we want to speak to the witches today. And we just want to tell you that what God said, God said he, would do, he would do, he'll do it. But I certainly claim these two, praise the Lord. They're very dear to my heart. And God has just blessed them abundantly. And just so much so, praise God, amen, they are model. They are an example of what godly people ought to be like. And I'm appreciative for them today. We praise the Lord for the awesome word of encouragement, knowing that our labor of love is not in vain. Thank you, thank you for what you've done by your presence to come to make this 25 years. And I'm just going over looking back 25 years and it was showing the overhead this morning. I had my moment to try to hold back today. I didn't want my brother to see me break down. But I had my moment. Sometimes you just have that moment when you're family. I had to look the other way. But thank you. Thank you, New Life Christian Fellowship. Praise the Lord for what you mean so much to me. Last but not least, my wonderful wife, the queen of my dreams. So easy to think about heaven when you live with an angel. And I thank God. Just a few days, 35 years, and I thought about that sister Darlene Witcher, Swain Witcher. I thought about our wedding. I thought about those songs that we used to play while we were, while I was dating you for a few months. See, when you find something, it don't take no year or two years. And when, when, when I found her, she found me, it was all over. And I still say this, if you would help me back there, I'm just lost without you. If I didn't have you, I'm lost without you. That was one of those songs. Will you hit that for me? We're not going R.B. <laughs> That's B.B. and C.C. 35 years are coming up this new day. And just to say that, day by day. And while I'm singing that, while she's singing that, and while he's singing that, I got something for you, darling. Look, this is a beautiful one. You said I will. No, 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 no. Let me have that privilege. You just assist me. I'm not sweet by
Come on over here, sugar. Come on over here, my baby. And Pastor Witch got up there dancing. <laughs> I just want to clear that way. Amen. I'll just thank God for 25 years of ministry. Thank everybody for everything um, for this 25th anniversary celebration. God has been good. I thank God for all the churches. We've basically been with each other through the years of celebration, anniversaries. Amen. And I thank God for each and every one of you. I got you for loving kindness. Thank you. I was going to mention that 25 years members and just and those that have been with us as uh, said this morning if it's been 24 hours or 24 days or 24 months you mean a lot to us yeah so thank you uh, god bless you love on someone